Hi everyone, Lisa Haven here. Well, a real life X-File has just been revealed by the US government after they were forced to release it. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about a huge trove of documents about paranormal activity you absolutely have to see to believe. Check out this article here on the sun.co.uk. X-Files, Pentagon releases 1,500 pages of secret documents about shadowy UFO program after a four year battle. The article goes on to state this, the Sun Online first requested a copy of all files, reports, or video files related to Advanced Aviation Threat Identification Program, or ATIP, on December 18th, 2017. Now, the kicker here to this article is it literally took four years via this FOIA Freedom of Information Request Act before they've got any of the information, but thankfully, they now have it. It goes on. It says, we filed a Freedom of Information Act just after the existence of the shadowy program had been made public. Finally, after more than four for years, the DIA released more than 1,500 documents. It includes government commissioned scientific reports and letters to the Pentagon regarding the UFO program. And this is on top of all the other information, by the way. But the hall includes reports into research on the biological effects of UFO sightings on humans. And that's the report that I want to focus on. But take a look here because they wrote both of these articles, the first one here on April 5th, 2022, and they publish this one at the exact same time because these two articles go together. And this one focuses on what actually happened. But here it is. Space Invaders. UFO encounters left witnesses with radiation burns, brain problems, and damaged nerves, claims the Pentagon documents. Now it goes on to state that the report was titled Anomalous Acute and Subacute Field Effects on Human and Biological Tissues. It investigates injuries to human observers by anomalous advanced air aerospace systems. And the report prepared for the DIA warns that such objects may be a threat to U.S. interests. And I think that's a key there. I think um, <laughs> this is something that needs to be looked at. And I believe that they absolutely are. But it goes on. Humans have been found to have been injured from exposures to anomalous vehicles, especially airborne and when in close proximity it reads now here's some of the things uh, that the people have reported in these documents it lists injuries such as heating and burn injuries from radiation damage to the brain and the ability to impact people's nerves it also lists this here it includes bizarre occurrences such as apparent abduction unaccounted for pregnancy sexual encounters experience of telepathy and perceived teleportation <laughs> real life x files another fascinating document included in the files sets out how to categorize anomalous behavior with encounters with ghosts, yetis, spirits, elves, and other mystical legendary entities such as AN3 and witness interaction with AN3 entities such as near-death experience and religious miracles classified as AN4. There are also ratings for UFO sightings, flyby ratings, close encounter ratings, which they call CE4, in which an encounter with an alien results in permanent psychological injuries or even death. Poltergeist, crop circles, spontaneous human combustion, alien abductions, and other paranormal events are also categorized. Now, if you want information on some of this paranormal par paranormal activity, I encourage you to go to Steve Quayle's website. He's got some really awesome stuff, conferences uh, on what the UFOs are, this kind of thing, uh, or what, what uh, biblically speaking, takes more of the biblical aspect there, but he's got some amazing stuff. So go to stevequayle.com and check it out. But back to that sun.co article, they actually show some of the clips in there uh, of the actual unclassified document uh, that they obtained. And here it is. You can see UFO related human psychological effects. And if you scroll down, you can see all the kind of effects, apparent abductions, paralysis, time loss, eye injuries, medical exam, burns, unconsciousness, marks left on the body, and, and uh, lots of lots of um, electrical shock, uh, nausea, skin sores, uh, tingling sensation, dizziness, all of this stuff, amnesia, a lot of them can, can amnesia, disoriented or confused, uh, hair loss, diarrhea, sexual encounters, uh, and swelling of tissue. So those are just a few. And here, if we scroll down just a little bit more, there's more here. 
and it says nosebleeds, uh, ringing in the ears, uh, uh, urination problem, be breathing problems. These are all pretty intense, but all kinds of strange anomalies happening. Not only that, uh, but you could also see unaccounted for pregnancies, perceived teleportation, and teeth vibration. And in this section here, uh, you could see poltergeists, uh, flattened grass, your circles, ghosts, yeti, spirits, elves, and other legendary entities all in this. U.S. government document trove of information. So there you have it. Real life X-File just dropped by the U.S. government, which they were forced to obviously release the information at. But back to the X-Files. Uh, this is definitely something that needs to, well, be investigated. I know there are lots of theories on what this could, what the UFOs, some say, oh, it's a regular UFO. Others say, uh, well, it's, uh, you know, a government program of sorts or some kind of advanced technologies. Uh, I take the more biblical standpoints, fallen angels, demons, interdimensional uh, things. There's lots of things out there. Uh, and I'm absolutely going to stand on, on the biblical side of that. But either way, I think it's important that you have the information because you never know uh, what tomorrow holds other than what we do know is the Bible talks a lot about that. Check out stevequell.com to get more information. And I don't get any kind of benefit for that. I'm just telling you, great source for some of that stuff. Anyhow, thanks again for tuning in. Please don't forget to check out my partner at uh, healthwithlisa.com. If you guys have not tried uh, this BioTrust collagen, I really want to encourage you to check it out. Uh, it's had some amazing benefits on my hair, skin, and nails, and it's really done me a lot of good. So get to healthwithlisa.com and take advantage of the collagen that they have there. They're one of the reasons I'm still here on air. Well, I love all of you. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Lisa Haven, signing out.